Ooh, when Daddy comes home from a trip, he brings home all kinds of good treats. And Sadie thinks they all belong to her. Come here, Brownie. Come here. Where you go, Daddy? What's your tail? <laughs> Those are all her treats, Brownie. You can't have any. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. It's, she's not going to do that then. Those are mine, Brownie. Watch your face and look. Come on. Here are your treats, too. Go over and see. Go over there, Daddy. Give you a treat. Daddy. <laughs> Hurry, Daddy. She's waiting impatiently. Go get it. There you go. And off she goes. She look, she turns around and looks at Brownie and is like, and that's all you get. The rest is mine. That's all you get, Brownie. The rest is hers. Yeah, I'm the queen. I'm the queen. I get all the tweets. Look at all the treats. Oh, a snack. Thank you, Daddy. Mmm. Nope. <laughs> you better get it. Nope. She don't want that kind, Daddy. Yep. I'll take that one. Look at her tail. Ding, 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 ding. Where's your girl at today? Oh. Filling up the treat. The treat containers. Uh oh. Yum, yum, yum. Look at my handsome man. <laughs> I missed you. Did you miss us? Oh. <laughs> That's enough. You're getting ready to eat. You gotta eat bat bites. Come here. Come here. It's almost time for bat bites. Come on, sister. You hush. You hush. Come here. Brownie's drinking Sadie's water. <laughs> Brownie, where's your water bowl? Come here. That's a big old box of bones. Did you find the big old snacks? Did they not have them? Would you say we spend on dog treats a month? Uh, too much. <laughs> Cat really nice. don't have that a lot of treats that he likes. Too picky. He's very picky. He's fun with a can of tuna and his kitty food. Got to have his kitty food. Look at Sadie, just waiting patiently. Look, there's Lucy on the box. Today's Lucy's birthday. Today is Lucy's birthday. We'll have to do a birthday video. <laughs> Sadie! Come here. Sadie! Where you at, Bernie? Come here, sister.
sister. Come here, sister. Did you eat your treat? Come here. Did you eat your treat? Oh. Are you going to eat Baba? Are you going to eat Baba? Come here. You could be a hateful. Look at those fat rows. Look at that. Look at those fat rows. Long. <laughs> no more treats. No more. <laughs> this holds treats. This is nothing but dog treats. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Dog food. Their dry dog food is over in containers. Watch containers. Each have their own little container and they each have their own kind of dog food that they like. So we buy two different kinds of dog food and one specific kind of cat food. And each night before they go to bed, um, they get a dentist stick, which is like brushing their teeth. So um, they get this once a night, um, every day. This is Sadie's dentist sticks. There's Brownie's dentist sticks. And here is Marty's. Marty Cat's little dentist treats. This is Marty's treats. These are Marty's treats. We've had these for a while, so they've lasted him long, but that goes to show that he does not eat a lot of treats. He would rather have his cat food. And Marty Cat eats the Purina Gentle because um, where he's an older cat, he does have stomach problems. And since I have changed him to the Purina Gentle, he does not vomit as much as he did, but he does overeat. But you cannot let his food dish go empty because he throws a fit he will aggravate the snot out of you <laughs> constantly when he goes outside he has to have a food dish and water dish to go outside with him and when he comes back in you have to bring that dish in and then he has his um food and water bowl that stays in the house um they are picky about water um they will not drink uh water from the faucet they uh they have to have bottled water spring water or distilled water which that's my fault um i probably rinse out and clean their water bowl maybe two or three times a day i'm constantly giving them fresh water throughout the day especially in the summertime um they do drink a lot of water um which is good good cold water all the time but anyways back to treats i get sadie the snaps because where she doesn't have very many excuse me very many teeth left the snaps are not as hard but they're still a dry treat they all eat dry food but i do add um because i don't want to give them all wet food all the time because it's not good for their their bowels and their teeth um and it does make their little poo um very messy and i have to pick it up in you know where they potty in the yard so i don't want to pick up messy poo but sadie eats the purina beyond and the beyond is grain free and i give her the dry in the Pur purina beyond as well and um it has helped sadie with skin issues sadie has um for years she has had really bad skin issues and the allergy shots for her before we knew that it was her food was going to be very expensive and there was no way i could afford that at the time so i just switched her food and it helped her and it actually helped her lose some weight but i do give her a certain amount uh, once a day and i do add this with her um her dry food just a little bit just enough where she can kind of swallow it whole and she don't have to chew the dry food so she pretty much just dry, you know just swallows it whole um her their chewy treats do have some grain and corn in it but not a lot to hurt her but her main meal is this you know so that's important that it doesn't have the grain and all that in it she says no corn or soy so that that's a good healthy healthy treat for them or food for them um 
so many times throughout the day we give them a chewy treat and plus this helps with you know when I teach them new tricks and even as old as these dogs are they still learn new tricks so don't believe the saying when they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks it is a it is a lie a complete lie <laughs> but anyways whenever if we have to leave and go somewhere and leave them home alone um, I'll give Sadie a snap and Brownie will get her bone and then also these are Sadie's little bitty teeny tiny baby bones they're little tiny milk bones they're real little uh -oh, hang on. they're so tiny and they say milk bone I give Brownie some too but every morning when I let them out first thing to use the bathroom when they come back in and yes I do wipe their paws and I do wipe their butts <laughs> so that's why I get this uh, these baby wipes the fragrance free but every morning when they come in from getting their uh, doing their morning potty I give them each a chewy treat and then I'll give them a dry treat and then like I said throughout the day they'll get you know treats here and there and um, usually about one o'clock is when I feed them their meal and then they snack throughout the day. You see, these are empty. We usually don't have empty treat containers. They're all usually full of some different kind of treat. Um, Brownie's food, she eats the Purina One. And it's a dry dog food and it's got like chunks of chicken. Is that what it is, Jason, Purina One? Is that what Brownie eats? Okay. And I mix um, some of these little packets pack it in with her food. It's got like a gravy and little chunks of meat in it just to kind of give her some flavor. That way she's not just eating old dry food, but we get these ovary pouches and she loves them. I mix it with her um, Purina one. Usually they, they have three different flavors, but this was all that they had, but it does have two different flavors. And I know this is probably silly to some people, but um, when it is holiday, like Christmas, Easter dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, I always get them, um, Brownie and Sadie, I'll find their kind of little soft food that they like, but I try to find it in turkey, so that way they have turkey dinner as well. So, yes, I have spoiled animals. Um, sometimes um, in the later evenings, after they've ate their meal, we'll give them each a chewy bone. So there's Brownie's, here's Sadie's. These aren't really hard that she can't chew them. It takes Sadie a little bit to eat those, but she gets a chewy bone too. Um, here is the parakeet's food. Millet spray, it gets a millet spray as its treat. And then there's this bird seed. Look, look who's here wanting another treat. What do you want, Poo Poo? What do you want? You want another treat. It's almost time to eat Bite Bites. It's, it's way past bye bye time. Um, snaps, milk bones. Um, Jason, where is that box of little baby bones? Did you feel, is this all that's left? Right here. The little baby bones. Did you fill this up? Because I thought they were more. Mm. Oh, there it is. There's Brownie's big milk bones. And Sadie's little bitty baby milk bones. Oh, that box is heavy. There's their snaps. Here is their water bottles when we take them out for a stroll or a walk or when we're traveling. Here's their water bowl. I need to get something to put their name. Oh, never mind. I already put their name on there, but you can't see it. There's Sadie's. And then Brownie has her own. Um, when I take Sadie strolling, I'll take this. This was my daughter's that she used as a little lunch bag when she was in um, elementary school. So this is fairly old, but I thought it was cute because it's a dog. Um, I'll put a bottle of water in there. Hang on. I'll put, I got you zoomed in too close. I'll put um, a little ice pack and a couple bottles of water. And then this is their bowl. I need another one, a little bit bigger one for Brownie, but this one's perfect for Sadie. So we need to find, a, I got this with my um, Skechers sandals that has dogs on them. 
I got that free with my shoes. But um, anyways, I need to find a bigger one of these for brownie. But it probably probably wouldn't fit in this, but that's okay. At least she'll have her own bow. I don't like for them to drink after each other. I know some of you out there would think that's silly, but the reason why I try to teach them to drink out of their own bow is Brownie had gotten sick before with diarrhea and vomiting. And this was when she was just drinking out of everybody's water bow, the cats, Sadie's. You know, it wasn't long after we had her that she did get sick. Well, the cat ended up getting sick. Sadie ended up getting sick. And that was, you know, Sadie, as old as she is, can't afford to get sick. So, when I took them to the vet, um, all three of them had the same little stomach virus. And she said that, yes, they could pass it to each other from eating and drinking. So, I try to keep them all um, out of each other's water bowl. Sadie's usually good about drinking out of her own bow and she don't bother the cat's, cat's bow but now Marty Cat will drink out of anybody's water bow won't he? won't he baby? she's ready for bite bites but anyways let's see this is just some of their treats Treat thing. I just wanted to show you their little, uh, little treat area. Their treat cart. That's what I'll call it. The dog treat cart. <laughs> Sadie's looking at me like, well, give me a treat. Um, extra water bowls. I probably have about 12. No, not that many. Probably about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't know. I may have about 12 water bowls. And all kinds of dog toys. Don't we? dog clothes the closet in the extra bedroom half of it is nothing but clothes for Sadie and Brownie <laughs> Sadie's got more clothes than anybody because she likes to get dressed up would you like to get dressed up and take a picture yeah you want to take a picture get dressed up <laughs> she don't care she just wants a treat Brownie did not like these. When we went to Florida last year, Brownie, I don't know, it was just the stress from the trip or just something with the sand or the ocean water, but she got a real bad UTI and was actually peeing blood. And I would have never known about it until she had an accident in the hotel room on the tile and when she peed it had blood in it. So I con uh, we went to an emergency vet, which was on a weekend, and it was an animal hospital. It wasn't a regular vet. It was an emergency hospital, and the vet was going to charge us. What was it, Jason, if we was to see the vet? Just to see the vet, just to get in to see the vet that was on call, was going to be like $200, and that's not including the test and treatment and all that. So what we did is we contacted our own vet here at home, and I told the vet what she was doing, and the vet said, um, <coughs> Do you, are you close to a, a Rite Aid or a pharmacy, you know, close by? And I said, yeah, there's a CVS close by, and I got the address, and she sent us, or she called in Brownie, a prescription of antibiotic. Was it amoxicillin? I think it was amoxicillin that she sent Brownie to take for her UTI until we got back, um, home from Florida because we were there for over a week and um yeah so Brownie had a little medicine bottle that said Brownie Smith on it I thought it was so cute <laughs> but um I thought that was really nice of our vet to send um Brownie a prescription all the way to Florida so she could get better and have a a fun vacation but Brownie hated it anyways we bought these to put you know because it was you know an actual peel that you know amoxicillin that people could take so we wanted her to you know have a little treat to stick them in and she hated these these um she won't even eat them as a treat so there's a whole pack of these i wanted to give to somebody um this is just um artificial tears for sadie's eyes um she does get dry eye so I, I put artificial tears in her eyes sometimes this is for her ears because she gets a stinky ear 
these are eye drops for her. Sadie's got, um, oh, what is it? Like a, I don't know what it's called. Kind of like a, what is that called that Sadie has on her eyes? That brown layer. Is it like a cataracts or something? Anyways, this is to kind of lubricate her eye, but she don't use this a lot because her eyes do run a lot and then they do kind of get into the little creases and folds on her nose and that will cause yeast if that those little folds stay real wet. So I don't put these drops in there and then two, they're like, for these eye drops, they were like $34 and same thing for these um, ear drops. They're, they're around $30 some dollars, so they're fairly expensive, but we don't use them unless we really, really have to. Um, this box right here is their pet meds box and it's got um, papers to show all the different types of medicines that they've taken over the years in case we need, you know, to give it to them again. Um, it's got, let's see, what else has it got in it? I think it does have extra medicine that they, you know, that they didn't have to take. So there's just different things in it. And there's Marty Cat's catnip bubbles. <laughs> yeah, this was my chapstick, my EOS chapstick, and I don't know how he got into it, but as you can see, Marty Cat got into it. I think I left it sitting and didn't put the lid on good, so he got it off and he was licking this, trying to bite it. So I don't let him lick it, I just let him sniff it because it's got like peppermint flavor and he loves peppermint spearmint. Anything that smells like that, oh, he loves it. Um, let's see. Oh, that's for, um, Jason, have you noticed the parakeet when you put these little, um, sandpaper things on their little perches? He peels it off. I don't know if it sharpens his beak, but he'll peel every bit of this stuff off. Um, let's see, chewy bones. This back, but yeah, this is um, the doggy's little treat part, and there's usually a lot more than this in there. But this is what they got for now, and I think it's plenty. I have plenty of treats. I always say the dogs eat better than us, <laughs> they are spoiled. There's some extra chewy food they eat as a treat. If I can get this back in there. Alright, chewy bones, baby bones, and I will put a clip, a video clip of their dog toys. I might just, I think I got a picture. I'll add a picture of all their dog toys and I'll take a picture of the closet. There's probably two or three totes full of dog bandanas and costumes like Halloween costumes and little outfits they wear for Christmas so me and my husband together do not have kids but I have a daughter from a previous marriage so for me and Jason our babies is our pets so we spoil them and we like to take good care of them <laughs> we would have a house full if we could afford them and have somewhere to put them all. <laughs> I don't think we could fit any more pets in the bed with us. But okay guys, just wanted to share a little video of my pets and um, their little treat card and just do some rambling. Some Amanda rambles. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye!